Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto talking to you. Today is my weekly trade predictions for the upcoming trading week of August 24th through August 28th, 2020. Okay, and what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to look at all the major Forex currency pairs on a 30 minute time frame just so we can see what happened this past week. Okay, and then I'm going to compare that to higher time frames such as the four hour daily and weekly. And then I'm going to try to give you my analysis of what I think is going to happen this coming week. Okay, so to begin with right here, let's look at euro usd okay we see we more or less is in a flat range of market okay with the price that come up and come back down now it looked like it hit a pretty strong level of support here and it is slowly working its way back up okay now the big question here is is it going to keep dropping or is it going to keep going up we don't know now i had predicted before that long term this would be definitely be dropping so let's have a look at the four hour chart real quick okay the four hour chart has two red arrows, okay, no blue arrow. So long term, this is definitely gonna be dropping. Okay, if we look at the daily chart, okay, daily chart has a red arrow. So, and it's already dropping, <clears throat> nice and steadily. Okay, if we look at the weekly chart, same thing. This past week has you know, slowly, slowly dropping. So we can expect in the coming weeks for this to be, you know, steadily dropping, all right? So if we go back to the 30 minute, we see here on the 30 minute that we have a blue arrow to buy, right? <clears throat> so what I, what I predict will happen is the price will come back up a ways and then form another red arrow. I do not think it will go as high as this red arrow, probably somewhere here in the middle, okay? And then when you get the red arrow that's when you can place a trade okay do not look to buy this week okay since the bigger trend is showing bearish that everything wants to drop we want to sell we do not want to buy okay so my advice is stick to a 30 minute chart and look for sell opportunities only okay and then close the trade when you get the opposite blue arrow okay and let this this way you don't have to be glued to your computer every five minutes you can open a trade and it will stay open probably for a day or two mm -hmm. all right you can come by every few hours maybe five or six hours i don't know and check on it check the status and see how it's doing okay but just make sure you only place sell trades all right now moving on to gbp usd okay great british pound versus the us dollar again we see more or less a flat range of market okay now this is kind of this is really really good here we have a lot of highs and lows okay so if you're on a 30 minute time frame like this and you're trading from arrow to arrow okay you place a sell trade here and close it here buy here close here this is excellent opportunity to make some money okay because when you're in a range of market like this you just want to buy and sell buy and sell like that okay now the question right now we hit this strong level of support it looks like it's kind of sort of wanting to go up but is it going to be going back up or is it going to be dropping i had predicted before that it'd be dropping long term so let's look at the four hour chart okay the four hour chart shows the sell okay the daily chart as well and the weekly chart does not okay so but we can see on the weekly chart that we are at a very strong level of resistance the reason there's no red arrow here simply is because it did not quite go to the same level of resistance as before but we are at a pretty strong area of resistance so with that said i think it's definitely going to be dropping this week okay so just like euro usd what i would do is i would put all the charts on a 30 minute time frame and i would look for sell opportunities only okay and then close the trade when you get the opposite blue arrow okay and take your profit now you could trade buy and sell buy and sell but <clears throat> considering the fact that everything's looking like it's going to be dropping long term i would definitely stick to sell opportunities okay just to be safe okay now let's move on to aud usd okay australian dollar versus the us dollar again we see everything was in pretty much on a flat range of market the price ended 
almost where it began, right here, okay? So that's pretty good. And we have some pretty, you know, pretty good profit here. You're buying and selling, like I showed you before, okay? Cl open in this one, close here, buy here, close here. <clears throat> now we see the price had dropped here and it's starting to come back up a little bit. So are we gonna see a continuation of this flat range of market? Or are we gonna see the price drop, <clears throat> okay? It <coughs> excuse me, it should be dropping long term, but we don't know, okay? Now, if you look here on the four hour chart, <clears throat> okay, the four hour chart shows the sell, <clears throat> and it's actually been steadily dropping. Now, we kind of got stuck here in this like flat range of market right now. We hit some turbulence, if you will. The daily chart shows the drop, and the weekly chart shows the go up, <clears throat> okay? But we are at a pretty strong level of resistance here. So what we can expect is the price to be, you know, slowly, slowly dropping, all right? So what I would do, again, I would put charts on a 30 minute time frame, and I would look for sell opportunities only. Now, right now we have a sell opportunity you could sell right now, but the fact that it's already dropped so much, you're kind of late getting into this trade, okay? So what I would do is I would wait for the next red arrow and then sell, okay? So that might take a day or two, I don't know. So do not rush on this, okay? Be patient, but definitely look to sell AUD USD, okay? Do not look to buy, all right? And you again, you can, Place a trade on the red arrow. I would probably wait a couple candles after the red arrow. Just make sure it don't repaint. Place your trade, close it on the opposite blue arrow, okay? And take your profit. That is the most effective way to trade. <clears throat> now, if Euro USD, Pound USD, AUD USD, all these are gonna be dropping long-term, then it means the US dollar should be going up, okay? So, if we look here on USD CHF, okay, US dollar versus Swiss franc, okay, we see that the price has more or less been in a flat range of market, right? Just like all those predecessors we, we saw earlier, okay? The price ended almost where it began, right here. The price began here, ended here. So, we definitely have some highs and lows, which is excellent. Now, we see the price that gone up and it's starting to come back down. Will the price be going up like it should or will it be dropping? Okay. So, let's look at the four hour chart. Okay, the four hour chart shows to buy. Okay, we have two blue arrows and no red arrow yet. So, I feel strongly that this will be going up. Okay, long term more or less we're going to be caught in a flat range of market this week if we look at the daily chart the daily chart shows to go up okay so it is slowly fighting to go up the u.s dollar is very weak right now because of all this coronavirus mess and you see the dollar has been a big slump for some time but now congress is pushing to pass the next stimulus package so the u.s dollar it's starting to rebound, okay? Unemployment is going down slowly, so that's good. And coming weeks, we will see the US dollar uh, grow back up, okay? If we look at the weekly chart, the weekly chart shows the buy. So we can expect long-term for this to be going up, okay? So again, what I would do is go to a 30-minute time frame and look for buy opportunities only. Mm. Now right here, this one is a little bit late getting into it. So I would wait until the next buy signal, okay? The next blue arrow and then buy, okay? Do not buy right now, all right? So again, be patient on this and just wait. But look for buy opportunities only, okay? Buy on the blue arrows and close on the opposite red arrow, okay? I hope that makes sense okay now let's look at us dollar versus the canadian dollar mm. okay
okay again you see more or less <clears throat> a flat range of market a lot of highs and lows <clears throat> with price started off in a downtrend now it has leveled off so long term it should be going back up <clears throat> we already got this blue arrow to buy but <clears throat> not really going up it's kind of going up but not much all right which is okay now let's look at the four hour chart okay again here in the four hour chart we see you know that we have a blue arrow and no red arrow so again long term this is definitely going to be going up it's just going to take some time okay we look at the daily chart daily chart shows the buy okay it's not really going up it's more or less just running sideways so <clears throat> that's something we're going to, have to be patient for for this to go back up it's going to take some time if you look at the weekly chart it shows the drop okay but we are at a pretty strong level of resistance i mean support here so <coughs> i do predict that this will be going back up okay based on the four hour chart so again put your charts on the 30 minute time frame and look to buy only Okay, look for blue arrows and close on the opposite red arrow. You probably could buy right now and wait for the next red arrow, but like I said before, you're already kind of late. So I would wait until the next blue arrow and then buy. Okay? And then close it on the opposite red arrow. Very simple, okay? So only look for blue arrows to buy. Okay? Now let's look at USD JPY. Probably going to be the same type of analysis. Uh, again, just like USD CAD, we saw the price drop and then taper off. Okay, go in a sideways fashion. <clears throat> so long term, I think it should be going up. But let's look at the four-hour chart. All right, now we see something a little bit different. Okay, we have a red arrow and no blue arrow. Okay, so USD JPY has a little bit different behavior. Okay, than its predecessors. But if we look at the daily chart, the daily chart shows the buy, okay? And the weekly chart does as well. So long term, I do predict this will be going up, okay? We probably could draw a trend line from this point going up like that, okay? That will mark our support. <clears throat> so if anything, this price might drop down and touch the support and go back up. If we go back to the one hour chart, see, let's go to the four hour. There we go. Let me delete that real quick. If we draw a trend line again, I'm going to say, just re, let me redo this. Okay, mark our support right here. So we got two points to mark this trend line we need a third point so you really need three points so what we're looking for here is the price to drop and touch this trend line and then bounce back up so for this week what i would do is look for sell opportunities only but keep in mind we're looking for this price to drop and hit this trend line okay so wait for the price to go up right now and form another red arrow Okay, shouldn't be much longer. It's gonna go up a little ways, form a red arrow and then drop. And then I would close it on the opposite blue arrow, okay? And it's probably gonna rise sideways with a steady drop. Okay, so you might have two, two good sell opportunities this week. Okay, so remember USDJBY, we want to sell, okay? That's something we always have to be mindful for. Even though all the other USD pairs are showing to go up, this one is showing the drop okay so we always got to look at the four hour and daily and try to you know come up with our own analysis of what we think is going to happen primarily the four hour chart okay so anyhow that concludes my weekly trade predictions if you have any other questions about this uh analysis or these predictions please contact me uh also if you have another currency pair that you want me to analyze feel free to hit me up on facebook there is a link below in the description of this video for my personal facebook please contact me there first 
Also, there is a link from my private Facebook group, and you can join in my Facebook group and post any questions or comments in my Facebook group. Okay, that way, myself or other traders, we can all assist you, and um, we can collaborate as a team. Okay, that's the whole purpose of having this Facebook group. All right. So with that said, um, I look forward to helping you. Thank you, and have a prosperous prosperous week ahead.